This is Radio Romania International. You are listening to our one-hour broadcast in English for listeners in North America, the East Coast. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro, Channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn, Radio Romania International 1. We wish you good reception conditions. I'm Cristina Matescu with the news. First, the headlines. Romania has been and will continue to stand by Ukraine. President Klaus Johannes has reiterated. The foreign ministers of Romania and the Republic of Moldova held talks in Bucharest on aspects related to European integration. And on the 24th of January, Romania is celebrating the anniversary of 165 years since the Union of Principalities. Romania's President Klaus Johannes said on Tuesday at his annual meeting with the ambassadors accredited to Bucharest that Romania will continue to stand by Ukraine. He emphasized that due to Bucharest's efforts, over 33 million tons of Ukrainian grain, accounting for more than 60% of the products carried through the EU's solidarity corridors, transited Romania. Klaus Johannes added that Romania will stand by Moldova and Ukraine in their negotiations for EU accession and emphasized that it is crucial for the two countries to continue to receive financial support and know-how for the consolidation of their public institutions and economy. As for the situation in the Middle East, he voiced support for a two-state solution in line both with the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people and with Israel's right to security. In this context, President Johannes mentioned that Romania conducted a very difficult operation providing assistance and support to the Romanian citizens in that region. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Romanian authorities involved in the evacuation of the Romanian nationals there, as well as to thank our partners in Israel, Egypt, Qatar and Jordan for their support, Klaus Johannes added. The Foreign Minister of the Republic of Moldova, Nicu Popescu, met his Romanian counterpart, Luminita Odobescu, and other officials. Talks focused on ways to deepen the partnership between the two states and the process Moldova is to undertake in order to join the European Union. Odobescu said the consolidation of democratic institutions can only be achieved through collaboration and Romania will continue to be Moldova's most active supporter in Europe and the world. Minister Popescu underlined that his country will only be able to accomplish its goal of joining the European Union together with Romania. In December, the European Council recommended the start of EU accession talks with Ukraine and the Republic of Moldova. On January the 24th, Romania is celebrating the anniversary of 165 years since the union of the Romanian principalities, Moldavia and Russia, under the rule of Alexandru Ioan Cuza. Military and religious ceremonies will be held in major cities across the country, as well as performances, exhibitions, events in museums and other cultural institutions. In Fokshan, in the southeast, a large-scale celebration will be held, including a military parade and the traditional Union round dance in the town's central square. The city of Yash in the northeast will host a ceremony in front of the statue of ruler Alexandru Ioan Cusa, as well as a military parade. In Bucharest, the George Enescu Philharmonic Orchestra will give a special concert. In January 1859, Alexandru Ioan Cusa was elected ruler both in Moldavia and in Wallachia. And under the 1866 Constitution, the United Principalities started using the official name of Romania. The new British ambassador to Bucharest, Charles Portman, confirmed on Tuesday that his country would continue to increase its military support for Romania as an allied state. Speaking at a press briefing, he said his priorities include defense and security. 
He announced that Great Britain would provide maximum support for Romania and the Black Sea, and that the Royal Air Force would return here this year on an air policing mission. The British ambassador also recalled that important joint training of British and Romanian military forces took place last year and said there were plans to increase the number of training exercises this year. And that was the news. has decided to temporarily suspend the use of two out of the five Radiocom shortwave transmitters that ensure the broadcast of Radio Romania International's programs because of budget cuts. The RRI programs in English are affected. All of them may be received on only one frequency instead of two as of August the 1st. The frequencies as well as any other prospective changes operated by Radiocom further to reception monitoring and to your feedback on reception quality will be announced in our broadcasts on our webpage and on Facebook. We invite you to follow RRI's programs online at rri.ro including on demand and on SoundCloud, on Android and iOS apps, via TuneIn and via satellite. You can find more details on our homepage. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn and Spotify.